Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Working on a watercolor recipe I started from few months ago and I had never finished it. Now I feel the desire of spending my day sitting by my table with my watercolors, experimenting since been long time not having the chance to draw. Drawing all these years, my technique developed to the style I have today, which I can describe it more perfectionist of my old version. But being away from drawing makes me see my work from a distance. And I start analyzing the path that my drawings passed through since the last, I think, seven years. Now I feel I need to step back and observe. Let me tell you about what I am working on. This is Mjadara recipe. It is a vegan yummy dish with just four ingredients, including the olive oil. It has brown lentils, burgol wheat and onions. Uh, this humble dish, we combine it in Syria uh, with a salad dressed with lemon juice. The substitute for burgol can be rice. I think as tasty as the burgol. Drawing the lentils took me a while to finish them on. <laughs> it's a matter of loving what you are doing because sometimes it takes more than you realize. Maybe I have been drawing like one hour without noticing the lentils. Here I draw the burrhole as the first layer. After having the first layer dried, I do paint usually. I don't know, but this is like a kind of me or personally I draw shadows with the color of the same tones. Like I'm not used to draw shadows with different colors. Some people do uh, draw shadows with purple or blue or sometimes brown. I am more like classic and I go more safe, maybe because uh, it's my character or not, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I go for more like the color itself. Here you see uh, the face of the girl is more colored in yellow uh, than in pink uh, or the like skin tones and I give a little shadow of yellow on the, on the hands because uh, I want her facing uh, the light of the refrigerator which I draw it like a little sun. I have to tell you more about the mjatera. Usually we eat this meal in Syria for lunch, like uh, freshly cooked, warm, but we tend to cook uh, this specific meal more than what we consume because we love to eat the leftovers later night cold. And as far as I remember, at my home there are no leftovers for the next day. Let's measure the ingredients with uh, the same cup or glass. Here we go. Measure one cup of brown lentils with skin. One burgol wheat coarse grain. It's like the biggest uh, pieces you can find, like for the burgol, the, the better. And then uh, two big onions. Uh, the best combination for this meal, it will be yellow onions, but then you can choose the onions that you like. Maybe it's good for the color or for the taste, I'm not sure, but this is how we do it back home. Like with yellow onions or what it called Spanish onions. And then uh, we will need here a virgin olive oil. Uh, and I actually use a bit of light oil as well for roasting and of course water let's move to the preparation it's easy as well 
Wash all the lentils with cold water and in a big pan on a fire add 3 cups of water to the lentils and let them boil until they are halfway cooked or maybe a little bit more. In another pan while this is cooking uh, I use just a tiny bit of light oil. It can be canola or corn oil and roast the burgol in it. After we uh, roast the burgol, we add one spoon of salt. Mingle while roasting. You will notice uh, the burgol turning to a lighter color and uh, kind of like reviving the wheat. Then combine the cooked lentils with its water with the burgol and add one extra cup of hot water and let them cook on a low heat. Here make sure to cover your pan. At the last step and to give taste to the mjadara, we are going to prepare our onions. Uh, we will slice first the onions and uh, use one onion for adding to the pan with the meal. And this will be fried with uh, a virgin olive oil until it is light golden. And the second onion, we will caramelize it with a little bit of a light oil and uh, we will add it at the end after serving to give the dish uh, a sweetness and uh, a contrast in the color. And one more thing I want to share, we eat a lot of pickles with this meal and we combine it as I say before like with a salad which is uh, dressed with uh, lemon juice and a little bit of olive oil and uh, one thing um, we do always always back home we add a dry mint to the to the salad it gives like a kick of freshness so I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Let me know in the comments below if you really are willing to do it. Try it and you might have here and there some questions. So I am very happy to answer you. And uh, keep tuned for another video. Thank you for watching. Bye.